Hello, Patriots. I'm Lee Watts, and this is Patriot Point, your source for Kentucky news and analysis from a conservative, Christian, and common sense point of view. Well, this week we're going to be talking about a health care emergency going on in Kentucky. Uh, there was a meeting up in the Kentucky Capitol just this past Thursday, and during that, Kentucky State Senator Reginald Thomas said Kentucky is in a health care crisis. And he was very correct in that. So this week, we're going to tell you what is going on and more importantly, what you can do about it. Uh, Do you realize since 2005, Kentucky has had four different hospitals closed. We now have tens of thousands of Kentuckians who don't even have a hospital anywhere in their entire county. Uh, There's thousands upon thousands of Kentuckians who now not only don't have a hospital in their county, but there's no longer a hospital in any of the surrounding counties either. And they've got to drive an hour plus or even go out of state in order to get to the closest hospital. So what's really the cause? Why do we have this kind of a crisis that is getting worse? It all goes down to something that started in the Jimmy Carter administration. Uh, He and the Democrats have come up with a socialist policy and Oh, who gets surprised there that the Democrats come up with a socialist policy? Uh, There was this idea that the federal government is going to mandate that all of the states put in this socialist policy where the government will decide where health care facilities can be. And uh, you're not allowed to open any kind of a health care facility, whether it's a hospital, uh, emergency room services, ambulance services, unless you get permission from the government to do it in a particular area. And it really allowed the government to control who is going to be where. Well, this has made all kinds of problems. Uh, In states that have this certificate of need laws, there is anywhere between 38 to 40% fewer hospitals in those states. During the Ronald Reagan administration, they had this mandate repealed. Uh, Why? Because they believe in free enterprise system. Uh, So uh, most of several states got rid of this mandate. However, Kentucky has been controlled by the Democrats since all those years up until just the past few years. And they still have certificate of need laws in Kentucky. So there is a great big battle that is waging to get Kentucky out of this government controlled socialist idea that we're going to decide where a health care facility can be opened and where it can't. If they were to repeal certificate of need, then we could see an increase in hospitals. Uh, with the crowd that's arguing against removing certificate of need. They like this idea that if you're already there, then you have a monopoly in that area in healthcare, and you don't want any competition to come into this area. Whether you're a a big facility or a small one, you're not going to want any competition. Uh, They had a committee meeting just this past Thursday, the Interim Joint Committee of Licensing and Occupation. And at that meeting, Senator Stephen Meredith, he gave testimony saying we need to keep certificate of need uh, where the government decides who can open a facility or not. Uh, I I thought it was very interesting that he mentioned that he was an expert on this field because he had been a hospital's CFO, chief financial officer uh, for a hospital group for many, many years. So you have a vested interest then in these hospitals keeping their monopolies and they don't want free enterprise system where anybody could open up a competition. Uh, This may also be, I looked it up, he is receiving literally thousands and thousands of dollars from the hospital association groups directly contributing to his campaign. So yeah, I bet he's very personally interested in keeping them having a monopoly on our health care. He went so far as to say, you can watch this in the recording on KET yourself, now if there was increased competition in an area for different health care facilities, then there would be decreased quality. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. When's the last time you get a whole bunch of businesses and they have the same business and because there's all this competition, they lower quality? No, the exact opposite is what happens. If you have increased competition, you're going to get increased quality and lower prices. Right now, America's health care prices are through the roof, especially here in Kentucky. One of the key reasons why is the health care facilities have monopolies. They're not allowed. There's nobody's allowed to do competition with them because they alone are allowed to open up anything here because of these certificate of need laws. During this committee meeting last week, Representative Killian Timoney, uh, he said that nobody, he's not hearing anybody talk about getting rid of certificate of need. Uh, Well, that's the reason that you need to do something about it. 
you need to contact your state representative and state senator at this phone number, 1-800-372-7181. That's the phone number for the message center at the Kentucky Capitol. And leave a message saying, hey, I would like to have health care choice in Kentucky by repealing certificate of need. Sometimes it's called C-O-N. Uh, and that's what it is. It's really just a con. Um, if you think about it here in just a few days, we're going to be celebrating the 4th of July, our nation's birth certificate, the Declaration of Independence. Remember what the Declaration of Independence said in that famous line that uh, you are entitled to certain liberties. And among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Everybody knows that line. Do you realize the very next line says, to secure these rights, governments are instituted. So notice, why is government instituted? Why do we have government? It is not to run our businesses, run the economy. It is to secure our rights. That is the reason government is instituted. And when we have the government doing certificate of need, deciding when a company can open up and when it can't and where it can, that is going beyond the original intent of American government, as stated in the Declaration of Independence. Uh, the group fighting against this literally says they're, they're pushing against the free enterprise system. We don't need to have competition. This is quite literally socialism. So uh, if you want to fight against the socialist idea, get America to start getting out of this stuff, contact your representative and senator at 1-800-372-7181 saying that you would like to have health care options and encourage them to repeal certificate of need. Uh, as I always say, whenever you contact somebody up at the Capitol, remember to be brief, be courteous, and ask them to contact you back with what they are going to be doing, uh, because that is a way to be an effective person in making a difference. So that's what's going on right now. This is going to be one of the hot topics coming up in the upcoming legislative session. And let's let all of these people running for office right now know we want to get out of this socialist idea and get back to a free enterprise system. Well, that's the news we have for this week. So until next week, I'm Lee Watts for Patriot Point reminding you, that liberty is not a spectator sport. A message from Mr. Monopoly. Hello, I'm so excited about the Kentucky Certificate of Need Law. It's how hospitals made a vast fortune with a medical care monopoly. I set up this alarm to alert me when patriots call to have this law revoked. Now I know which politicians to pressure. Oh goody, there's a call now. Uh, wait a minute, I don't want people to call. Uh, um, hello, yes, uh, the people are demanding free market health care. What can we do about this?